Actually, I've already messed up on these girls, which is really, really, really annoying. Hey everyone, I'm Norn Queen Alexis and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are taking a sit and painting some Sisters of Battle from the box set. As you can see, I already got paint on me because I am a professional and all professionals start with paint on them. They're literally born with paint all over them. Don't, don't, don't question that. I realized that that sounded really dumb after I said it. I have several <laughs> questions. I know, right? <laughs> like immediately. So John is going to be with me. He's going to be helping me out, taking questions as we go along and have this merry adventure. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to sit and paint today. I didn't really want to play any games and I didn't really want to do this on um, like any of the other platforms that I'm on. Uh, also, my paintbrushes are like all messed up and I'm kind of annoyed and they're all like really far away. So let me just grab those really quickly. I literally just grabbed every single one of them. So I am awesome. I also sat on my headphone cord. Hello, everybody. Uh, so I'm not really going to do this as a, hey, look at these amazing models I'm painting. I'm actually just going to sit here and paint some models while I take questions from you guys, while you guys just sit and chat with me. And this is just going to be a relaxed stream together. I have John with me taking questions as always. If you guys want to be super awesome, you can check out the super chat feature. It really actually helps out the channel quite a bit. So right now I'm currently working on some battle sisters, which you can't really see, but you can actually see all the highlights, which is really funny. So I do want to talk about this really quickly because I see a lot of people doing these wrong. Uh, our martyred lady is black armor. That's it. It's just a black metal. So that's what I use. I just spray prime it black with Abaddon black. And then I go over it with, cause I, I always see people trying to do this and they, they always go over it with bolt gun metal. That doesn't work. Just don't do bolt gun metal on martyred lady. It looks like I literally tore somebody's head off. Like look at my hand. It looks like it's covered in blood, which is cool. Cause that's blood for the blood God. Um, what? But you always want to start off with your first dry brushing of the sister armor to be a uh, storm vermin fur. Then from there, you want to go to your P3 formula. Uh, I have no idea what this one's called. Uh, Crack Spain highlight. I go to this and then I go to um, celestial gray and yeah, that's how I do the uh, lighting effects on the armor. You can go one step further um, and use some Uthran Gray to do an even higher highlight on the armor itself. Uh, just pick a lighting source where the light is actually coming from and go from that angle. Just never, never go too, too much because then your model just looks over highlighted and looks a bit silly. For the capes themselves, I'm going to be starting it off with Blood for the Blood God or Cornate Red. I, I go, yeah, Cornate Red. And then you use um, uh, Carbo Crimson to go over it, to create a nice shade. Then you do a little bit of Corn Red back over it. Then we move up to Evil Sun Scarlet. Uh, then from there, we actually do a highlight of uh, Wild Rider uh, Red, which is actually an orange, it's not red. But yeah, we bring it all the way up to an orange. Um, but yeah, I just got my box, so whoop. Yo, nice. Yatsu, you got your box. I'm super excited about that. I wanna, get, I wanna try getting the Sister Superior for just for practice. I actually have several Sister Superiors you'll see in tomorrow's battle report. I plan to get six because I want six of that. Um, I want six of that sister superior just so I can use them for all my troop choices uh, because I really like her. I think she's really cool and everything. So I'm going to get right back into this. I'm painting the seraphim because I actually really, really, really need my seraphim. I also need like, um, I also need like base troops because I'm really running out 
And it kind of sucks. Like, I need, I need a ton of sisters. Like, no joke, I think my min amount of sisters now on the battlefield in nearly any actual, like, game is going to be close to 50. Uh, let's see, it's 30, then 15 more, so 45 at minimum. Uh, no, because you need 50. Like, you need to do two 15s, one five, and then four fives, and you'll have 50 Marines on the field, uh, 50 sisters on the field. Uh, question, what's a good way to paint the purity seals? Um, on mine, I base with white and then put uh, flayed one flesh and the thin coat of nolan oil. I actually don't like nolan oil uh, as much. I actually use, um, I use celestial gray as the, as the base for them. I, I use this paint for pretty much everything on the Sororitas armor. Um, then I go up to... Um, Pallid Witch Flesh, and then I do a tiny, 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 tiny bit of Seraphim Sepia because it gives that crumpled paper look, that old paper look, which I really like. Also, I did use an airbrush for this, uh, for the base coating. Uh, that's it. This looks terrible on camera. It actually looks like something much worse than it is, but we're not going to talk about that. Okay. Um, do you think you didn't like her before she came out? Wait, who? I mean, I've always been out. Uh, anyway. This Canon S? Oh, the Canon S, ah. yeah. The, the Canon S, I, I completely changed up how they look. Like, I gave this one a pole arm. Uh, let's put it right over here. Give this one a pole arm and some fur, and this one over here is completely different as well. You can see these on my Twitter and uh, Facebook. Them two thin coats. Yo, you need two thin coats. Like, Duncan is, is living St. Duncan. If he's watching, he knows that I am I am definitely using two thin coats. Don't you worry. Don't you smite me, Duncan. I'll be good. Promise. That Halloween video would be otherwise. Look, that Halloween video was funny. I'm running into a problem where a lot of my brushes are actually getting frayed because of the stupid temperature. So... Boop -da -boop -da -boop -da -boop. There we go. So right now I'm just gonna pick up a sister and just start doing her. Um, what's um, a good color for wax on purity seals when the armor is blood red? Uh, use blue. Uh, blue will pop out a lot more, and I really, really like using blue or purple. Will also do the trick. So I'm just gonna go through here. This. This is actually a little bit too thin, but that is okay. I could just fix that in a second. And I messed up. All right, we're, we're doing good. We're doing good. Now, I'm not a perfect painter. I actually have a studio painter now, and that is Big Vic. He is a pro painter. He is the commission painter for the channel itself. But I like painting a good chunk of my own stuff. Like my sister's. My sister's... The new ones are going to be all done by my hand. Um, I did have a fan paint a good chunk of my older sisters, which I then touched up just a little bit. Um, okay, let's see. If you're open to some commentary, Celestial Grey and Pallid Witch Flesh are opposite color tones. You'd be better served at basing with a uh, rock. I, I never know how to actually say their, their paint name, so I do apologize. Flesh tone, then pal then with pallid wish flesh. I guess my pallid wish flesh is just so watered down that it just it fits with pretty much everything at this point. I water down a lot of the GW paints. Um, yeah, what's funny about GW paints is if you put them through an air gun, you actually don't need to put paint thinner through them. You can just put water, and water seems to work just fine. I always found that was weird because I have um, I have a bunch of paint thinner for them for airbrush paint thinners and water just works perfect for them. Also need to paint all these grenades up and everything. John, can you grab some of the questions and comments as they come? I sure can. Let's see. Start let's scroll up a bit. Question Tau Empire and the Farsight Enclave still around in forty K. 
Yes, yes they are. They're actually a little bit more powerful right now. Which I really like. I really love the the Tao Empire. I really love how their lore is expanding. And I really love... I think my favorite sept right now is Borkan. Or however you say it. Because they're just, they're just so weird. I love how radically different they are. All right, what's the next one? Let's see. And you could just read comments too. Indeed. If we tried br brush soap to keep the bristles in place while not painting. Well, I have um I have tried a bunch of brush soaps, but yeah, I tend to buy cheap brushes, so that is kind of my problem. Like I need to stop buying cheap brushes and buy actual good brushes. But until then, I'm going to keep just... The second my brushes just start getting frayed and useless, I'm just going to throw them out. And buy, like, dollar store brushes again. And then wonder why my brushes are terrible and why I suck at painting. And then knowing full well that it's my brushes. There we go. Let's see. Oh, I wanted to paint my Skaven Battle Force too now, but I have to sleep soon. Work tomorrow. I mean, Roland, what would the Great Horned Rat want? Yeah, he'd want like you really. to paint. He'd want you to paint, paint the skin. Paint, paint the Skaven. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Get the out of the warp stone. Also, you made a good purchase. I, after discussing it with a friend of mine who is really into AOS. The Skaven Battle Force box is probably the best buy out of the entire Age of Sigmar collection from those battle boxes. Yeah. Because with the Bell and the uh, Vermin Lord, all your rats are pretty much walking up there voided up. Yo. Let's see. I need to finish my AOS armies. I need to actually play a game of AOS. I've had Daughters of King to... for like two years now, and I've yet to play a single game. Like your daughters here. Like with them, obviously. Uh, hello, Alexis. Really enjoyed the Pat Rep versus Vic. Have you checked the wording on Trinity? I think you can't trigger it with only two Meltas and Super Combi or Superior Combi. So you can trigger it with the Combi Flamer, but you can't trigger it if the Flamer, uh, if the Bolter, the Flamer, and the Melta Gun. Okay, so how it works is. The weapon does have the flame quality and is considered a flamer for all intents and purposes of rules. But you can't trigger it if you're using, if it, you only have those three guns in the squad left. So if you have a combi flamer and two meltas, you cannot trigger a uh, holy trinity. Because it has to be a different bolt weapon in order to work. Indeed. Let's see. There we go. Get some nice caves cool. done. Also, can Let's we see. talk about the fact that Seraphim have jump packs which emit fire and wear cloth? It could be a flame retardant material. Yeah, I doubt it's that high of a flame retardant material that they just, they just, just put that stuff all over them at that point. I mean, I guess they technically do, but still. Uh, space magic. I don't need to explain magic. it. Yeah, pretty much. That's all. That falls down to the hashtag the warp did it, right? Yeah, pretty much. Because warp Let's stuff. See. Warp stuff. Why energy? I ain't gotta explain nothing. Right. Let's see. Corn Berserker and Death Company walk into a room. Who doesn't die? Corn Berserker and Death Company. They might actually get along just fine. Oh, uh, Roland Varga has a super chat. Uh, Ooh, paint, paint, yes, yes. Paint, 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 yes, yes. Paint, paint, yes, yes. You know what, Roland? I'm sending you some warp stone. The Great Horned Rat wanted. Did the Great Horned Rat die in end times? Uh, no. He, he pretty much uh, said, I'm... I am so silly, you can't get rid of me. Oh, that's uh, fair enough. I mean, that's well, that's how I would do it. Uh, well, actually, he kind of as he kind of crawled in the cr 
the celestial crevices between the between the like every between the additions pretty much like he just kind of became a you know pulled a whole rat and just kind of hid in the wall I can believe it yeah the... kind of like how Gorkamorka did it Gorkamorka just refused to leave even though everything was on fire Gork and Mark, please go. No. no. Let's see. Uh, how else does one martyr themselves? Look, we go to the front lines, we fight. If we are to die, we are to die as martyrs in flames. Martyrs in flames. Okay, so that's four of these girls with the first layer of paint on their tabards. It is a tabard, right? It's a tabard. Okay. I've always wondered that one. Uh, so, let's see. Hemper protects Seraphim. Yo, I miss when Seraphim had a 3-up info. I like my Seraphim 3-up info. Although, in tomorrow's battle report, you're going to see me do a rule wrong, and it's... It's a really stupid rule. I accidentally gave my Repentia a 5 plus invulnerable save, even though they only had a 6 plus. And the reason I did that is because I was supposed to be running a second Canon S, and I forgot that I, I was using a Sister Superior as a Canon S. And yeah, I, I. Yes, tomorrow's game is going to be weird, and I do severely apologize about it ahead of time. I messed up something so easy and I feel so stupid for doing it. But unlike other channels, I will admit when I do something wrong and, and dumb. And I will... I actually do like when people point out when I get rules wrong. So long as they're not mean or nasty about it. Just being like, hey Alexis, heads up. You did get this wrong. I actually like knowing that because if I, if I know that there's a chance that I won't forget it in the next game. Um... But yeah, I, I just don't... I want to bring you guys the best battle reports I can while at the same time enjoying the game, if that makes sense. Yeah, and we have a super chat. I don't think the Imperium cares much about us, about us best of... <laughs> nice. Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> Everyone knows that the appropriate place to put your... Put your paintbrush when you can't put it down for a split second is to just hold it in your mouth. I suppose. I'm... I know I'm not going to make that joke. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Seraphim maybe can... Uh, they... Oh, yeah. Maybe Seraphim still have a 3++. plus plus. They get a minus 2 because they're on fire. <laughs> Yo, right? It's good. Uh oh, here's a good one. How much do you care about WYSIWYG? I haven't started playing yet, and I've just been having fun kit bashing primary units. Nothing super crazy, but if people are going to make a fuss about it, should I even play? So there are some players that are going to make a fuss about it, but most players are just kind of cool, so long as the model looks like it has the right war gear. Like, I use a lot of proxies and stand-ins every now and then. Like, instead of Cotias, I run Inquisitor Lockwood and just say it's using Cotias' rules. Yeah. Um, but aside from that, most people don't care. Yeah, like if you're going uh, into a tournament, a... then people care. But if it's just a casual game, it doesn't matter. Yeah, and like, shoot, I put two accidentally put two uh, knives on an orc and just put a scope on the knife. Boom, ranged weapon. There you go. All right. Uh, can you go ahead and get some more questions and more comments as they come? I sure, I sure can. Have you all seen the chaos armor for these girls? It looks amazing. The what? Chaos. I guess someone maybe maybe did a chaos sister conversion with the new model. I mean, that would be really cool. It's not very hard to do. Just yeah, give the seraphim like... bat wings. That's always like the go-to. Is just. Anything that has a jump pack, give it bat wings, and suddenly it's evil. Yeah. Oh, oh, this is nice. Hell, I'm about to paint a castle at night like a 1950s car, so do what you like. Hell. Yes. Hello, Chicago. 
Yo, Castellan's kick ass. I really like them. Yeah, like... I didn't think there was much you could do to expand the knights, but the Castellans and Armagers, uh... Wrong. I keep messing up this model like crazy. Like, they have this little tiny bit of cape, like, right in between their legs. So what I keep doing to clean it up really fast is I just oversaturate the paint that gets on the foot and I just go from there and then just pull the paint right off. I can see how that would be an issue. And if that doesn't work, I'll just use some black to just redarken that part. It's not really a, not really a big deal. Let's see. Bright pink and cream baby with chrome working and gold lining. Ooh. That could be nice. Boop. You'll have to show me pictures of that when it's done. Do you want to see that? Fun, fa fun fact. Alexis has a green screen effect going to make it look like she's in front of a green screen. That is so true. That That is exactly what's going on here. Uh, no, I usually, I, I always have a green screen behind me when I play games and everything, so I could just, you know, make it look like it's not there and be a professional twitch -er person. I twitch professionally. It's a talent not many people have. Let's see. Oh, here's, a, here's an interesting one. This chair makes way too much noise. Yes, it needs a mole. Let's see. I still miss you saying love me in the front of your videos, lol. My daughter has taken a lot of inspiration from you. Thank you for that. Aw, that is the cutest thing ever. That is awesome. I love that. Well, I hope I inspired her well and not to be like a deviant servant of Slanesh. Uh, any recommendations for what units to buy for starting Space Wolves? My friend really wants to start. We actually have a video. She actually has a video on the channel uh, that goes into detail about that. Yeah, we can just go into Space Wolves. It essentially no. boils down to buy their start collecting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, she has it there so we can use our imaginations of what she could be in front of. You know, I could actually let me let me try to let me try to change this really quick. Let's do this right on uh, the spot. Yeah, let's do this right on the spot. Why not? Uh, let's I can see. Give you a few this is stupid. So let's do it. I'm in. Um, okay. So boop. That is there now. Let's go like this and let's set this to the back. Okay. So that's how that works. And then. Let's go ahead and go color, chroma key. Uh, let's see if I can I can get rid of the background real quick. Okay, there we go. There, now I'm on a space Hulk. Have fun. Actually, this is pretty cool. I might I might actually keep this. Oh jeez. You know what, chat? You just inspired me to do something awesome. No, use a picture of Duncan. Uh, I don't. I don't think I should. That might get you in trouble. Yeah, that might get me into a little bit of a pickle. Uh, lore wise, are the cassettes on the sisters over the armor, like the gloves or molded part of the armor? I thought it was always separate, but pics from the new codex make me question that. So the artwork in the new, uh, the new sister battle book, looks terrible, and I hate it. Because it kind of spits in the face of established lore for the Sisters of Battle. And I'm not going to lie, I absolutely hate it. So I, I just, I choose not to look at the, the artwork because I like my women looking like, you know, actual powerful women. Um, but the gloves themselves are over powered gauntlets. If that helps you out. Go. Boop. Okay, got another one done. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What's the next one? Go. Next comment. Uh, uh, 
Exempt from earlier, Calgar model, but with a power sword and wrist-mounted twin plasma gun. Canada as the Gravis Captain. The only war gear discrepancy is the is Gravis Captain has a wrist bolter. Sounds fine to me. I mean, again, so long as you're not playing competitive, no one cares. Well, no one should care. You'll always have that one person in your gaming club that'll be like, that's not wiggy, wiggy wig. And then to them, you could just be like, okay, I'm going to go play this person. And they're going to be like, but I haven't gotten a game in three weeks. And it's like, yeah, because you have a disgusting personality. Goodbye. See you later. He'll go undefeated in your club, but he'll also not play in a single person. Yeah, as I always say, one of the most terrifying things I can think of, you spend $500 on an army that you can't play with because no one will play with you. Yeah, like, just don't be a jerk. Like, seriously, yeah, it, it boils down to, like, gaming clubs boil down to just don't be a jerk. Play the game. Enjoy the game. It's harder than it sounds, apparently. It kind of is. And a lot of it boils down to this is a um, this is a game dominated by people who have the idea that their miniature, their prime arc, their their character is the strongest character ever because reason. Um, which the lore I blame the lore for. Hello, is this the live stream that is the giveaway? That might be it. Like I said, you guys have to stay tuned and find out. I'm probably going to be here for like two, two, three hours. I don't know when I'm going to do a giveaway. I might do it in a little bit. I might do it tomorrow's stream. Or I might do it right now. I'm not going to do it right now. But what? it might happen soon. Speaking of which, I should have that book like sitting now. next to me. Like I... Hmm. Un momento, por favor. Be right back. Also, I did not pour myself a drink. I have that book somewhere. Everything is somewhere. Wow. Also like that my green screen, when it can't focus on me, just immediately freaks out. I think that's really funny, but I do have to run really quickly to go and find the book so that I can do a giveaway on this stream. Okay? All right. Momento. Well, while she's doing that, how y'all folks doing? Y'all been doing good? Um, which orc is the best in your opinion? Go, in the chat. Odds are, I mean, odds are, Tabitha, if you ask, probably. Okay, so, 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 I have to move my dry brushing, my airbrushing stuff aside, just so I can do this. Let's fix my hair really quickly. Boop. There we go. Johnny, you still there? I am. I'm okay. So, I do have my spare deck of cards. I do have my spare miracle dice, which are just regular D6, by the way. There's nothing special about them. Nothing miracle dice. And I do have the spare codex. Which, if I go like this, starts freaking out. But this is the spare codex. I, I am sorry my green screen is affecting this quite a bit. Um, it's in perfect condition. It's still shrunk wrap and everything. But I will be giving it out on this stream. The only thing that I ask is that you guys help me with... Uh, actually, the only thing I really care about is that we give it out to somebody that truly cares about the sororitas. Since you guys did tune in to an Adeptus Sororitas paint stream, we will be giving it out today. Indeed. Uh, some people want to know, will it be signed? Uh, no, because it's in shrink wrap, and I don't want to sign it if it's in shrink wrap. That seems odd. I mean, okay, if the person who wins it wants it signed, I will sign it. Okay. Fair enough. But if they don't want it signed, which is perfectly fine, uh, it'll still be in shrink wrap. So. I have this about. Disappointment six... from the sisters' days. Sorry. I have about, like, 
I have 10 seraphim and two sister superiors, one mistress of repentance and two canonesses. That's where we are painting today. So yeah, disappointed that those sis uh, in those sisters dice. I know, right? They had a chance of making some ridiculously cool dice and then they're just like, no, they're just this bland and boring dice. I'm also trying to look into making my own custom dice for the channel that will be available for purchase as well uh, in the future. If you guys do want any merch from my store, the link should be in the description. I have a Teespring, um, I have a Teespring where you can get all sorts of cool shirts, uh, especially Damn It Isaac. That seems to be the popular one because that's that's my my one dice that always rolls a one. I swear. Um, I want to get it signed by the Norn Queen. Oh, that is that is so cool. <laughs> For when you become a famous YouTubers, yeah, I, I doubt I'll ever become famous, but you know, infamous maybe. Never say never. Right? You never know. You might become the face of GW one day. That that probably won't happen. But, you know, whatever. Could happen. Um do 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 do. Although You is famous, Alexis. Say what? You is famous. Uh, you, you know what? I love it. The orc t seem to think that I'm famous, and thus they grant me their powers. Oh, yeah. I get back to work, you grots. Alrighty. I'm just trying to make these to a, a tabletop standard so that they look really, really good on camera. And that's about it. Because I mean, that is it'll... that is my standard for a good-looking mini. Does it look good on my camera? Yes, it's perfect. Love it. Boop. Boop. Okay. Second coat. There we go. There's going to be a lot of cleanup on these models, like a lot. Um. Somebody actually asked if they if I read the uh, recent sister book that came out. Uh, I actually have it in my in my bedroom right next to my bed. I have been looking into it just a little bit. I haven't read it just yet, mostly because I haven't had time to read it. I've been very busy. In fact, right after the stream, I'm going to get right back to editing so that I can release a battle report for you guys tomorrow. And I do want to say this on this stream in front of you. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? 76, 77 people. I want to say some ridiculously good news. Uh, a lot of you may not know this, but I am engaged to be married. Um, and my Victor, uh, Victor Sigerson, is soon going to be Victor Kane. He is taking my last name. We're in the process of immigrating him to America. And it's, it's actually like a dream come true to me because I'm finally getting my, my fiance soon to be husband. And I honestly, I can't wait. The emperor has provided me with a way of finally getting my husband to me. So yeah, um, we have a date, uh, not for the wedding, but for him getting here, which is February, like probably February, from 10th to like the 15th and then once we get him here we're gonna get married i can't wait i'm gonna be live streaming the the wedding um i think that's i think that's uh i think that's really funny and i i, I think that you guys need to be present with me because this channel has made a massive improvement in my life it took me from a place where i was in uh i was I wasn't doing very good to where I am now, where I'm actually very happy. And I absolutely love you guys for help supporting me through all of these years. You guys have been amazing and I love you guys so much. But I just wanted to share that. I wanted to share that. Um, and don't worry, he's loyal. He's a loyalist. 
Although we're both Inquisition, so you know it's gonna be a. <laughs> yeah, I spelled like, congrats I had to long. Switch over to... Oh. I mean, look, I had to join the Death Watch just so these two wouldn't murder me. But it's it's been a long time coming, and I'm super excited about that. So I just wanted to put that out there that I can't keep that to myself. I've just been too excited about it. Congratulations. 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 Uh, so what do we have in the comments? May the emperor protect you and your husband. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Boop. And we got let's a red see. key. All right. But let's, let's get back to some of the questions and the comments and everything. What is the best sister order? Martyred lady. Oh, do they actually mean like rules wise? Unsure. They just said, what is the best? Um, probably like kind of like saying, which is the best space Marine chapter. It's always ultramarines. Um, but yeah, I, I have a actual, I really like the bloody rose. Uh, I really, really like uh martyred lady. Bloody rose is right up there for me. And Evan chalice is also really cool. I really like all of them. Oh, John, can you read some of the comments that are coming? It's yes. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Can we ask where he is coming from? He is coming from Iceland. So I bagged me a Viking, yeah, an actual Viking, not one of them cheap knockoff Vikings from like whichever country. I actually got me an Denmark. Icelandic Viking with yeah yeah i paid I like the them. premium package for my viking and he came with some cool abilities he also has you know a four plus resistance to the cold so yeah see i paid for the economy viking and got the space wolves <laughs> <laughs> all right that's good yeah, so... Alexis, do you mean a Thoraboo? You know I mean a Thoraboo. Someone says he is a space wolf. He is space wolf. Yeah, I can see it. Actually, I do have a picture of him as a space wolf that I use in some of my thumbnails. It is true. Is the Emperor the fifth Chaos God and why is he the Horned Rat? Okay, look, I could definitely tell you that he is not the fifth Chaos God, but I have unconfirmed reports that he might, in fact, be a rat. I mean, I could tell you, I'm, I'm going to just say it, Sigma was at Cadia, but we're going to move on. Sigma was at Cadia? <laughs> Let's see. Not like those knockoff Vikings from Norway. Actually, it's Denmark. You want to get a? You want to be on the good side of most uh, Scandinavian and Nordic countries? Just tell them you, tell you that you don't. Care no, for no, them. no, 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 no! Don't finish that. All right. Remember, we're streaming. I know. There we go. One of the hardest things is you painting like between the clear. legs, like right up to the groin, right between the model itself. It's always difficult to like try to get your brush down there and not screw up everything in its path. Yeah. There we go. <sighs> no, but I am, I am honestly in a super good mood. I have been in a good mood all day. Um, so we are at the, you know what, at the one hour mark, well, I don't know how to do a giveaway. So we're going to figure this out and I'm going to wing it. And the person who wins my winging of it gets the codex. Might be hour or a little bit after the hour. I'm going to try to get a good chunk of these sisters done by then. How many sisters you got working on right now? I'm working on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. And I'm just trying to speed paint them since I got the dry brushing done and out of the way. So, and I also have a way of cheating. I, I have a heat gun, so yeah. All right, what do we got for a question? Alexis, how's it going? It's going extremely well. Uh, what are you naming the Canonesses? So Canoness Kane is the one that appears on my channel all the time. That was given to me by a 
Hang on a second. I have to fix my hair. All right. So that was given to me by... All right. That was given to me by a fan. And it, it meant a lot to me. Uh, it came from a fan by the name of, that goes by the name of Geeko. He has been super awesome. And he actually, yeah, like I... I love the model. He's the one that painted some of my sisters for me. He has been awesome and I absolutely love him. But like that Canon S has seen some battles. The new Canon S's do need names. Um, I'm thinking one is going to be named Annabelle. I don't know why, but Annabelle just kind of popped into my head just now. And I kind of want to do that. Uh, but you? yeah, like, but we have like two Canon S's here. One with pole spear and like inferno pistol because if you guys know how i run my canon s's it's always inferno pistol sword of some kind and we have the other one i feel like i'm I'm like this is me like activating my megazord or something somebody is going to yeah make a joke out of this but these are now primed black you can see them on my twitter and facebook um follow me there links are in the description down below uh make annabelle a doll i don't get it I wanted to name my Canon S Merelda? Meredith. Meredith. Ooh, sorry. I have the text really small, so I do apologize if I get things wrong. Ooh, that can actually be a cool name. Can't wait for the main release, early 2020. Been playing Sisters of Battle since 2008. So excited for new stuff. Yo, same. Like, I plan to, the second the Battle Sister box actually goes on sale, I'm ordering six of them. Yeah. So what's your favorite sister character and why? This is going to be so lame, but I absolutely love Celestine. Um, if, yeah, I, I absolutely love Celestine. Like, I, I love her work so much. And, like, I, I love all of the books that she is in. It's very clear that the creators are very passionate about Celestine. Um, and I just absolutely love it. All right. By the way, why is Abaddon such a joke in normal lore, but ADB makes him, uh, makes him awesome. So I've never understood why Abaddon was always taken as a joke. He's literally won every battle that he's ever been in, except for two. Uh, he lost Battlefleet Gothic and he lost like another campaign, but he has pretty much won every Black Crusade. And everybody's like, oh, they're just retconning him that he won. But if you go all the way back to first edition, the chaos, um, oh, oh God, I can never remember what it's actually called, but it's the chaos. Um, uh, it, it's like the, the amalgamation of all that is chaos from first and second edition. It even talks about Abaddon winning it before any of that. Like it, Abaddon has been winning since day one. It's just that a lot of people like the memes that Abaddon is the armless failure because his metal model would constantly break. It's really hard to really hard to get together and it's kind of just a crap model. But now he's like he's actually kind of just a, a complete badass in the lore and I really like him. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go back through these. Which Wargame exclusive mini is your favorite? Uh I like their angels. So, yeah. The Necron ones are pretty neat. I do like their Necron ones. Let's oh, yeah. see. Do you like the Total War Warhammer, a.k.a. Warhammer Fantasy? Uh, it's not my type of game. I don't like Warhammer Fantasy as much, but I do like me a good RTS. Uh, hey, Alexis, sorry I'm late. What did I miss? Uh, you missed the good news that Victor has finally been approved. Uh, well, not really approved just yet, but we do have a, 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 a kind of idea. Anyway, Celestine is uh, one of the, oh my God. And technically, what is that? I, I missed the rest of that, sorry. Uh, question, ITC is talking about enforcing base sized moving forward. Are you planning on rebasing your entire army? If so, how? I actually made an entire video on that where I rebased all 400 of my sister of battle and space marines. In fact, I actually did a, a video where I scaled up my battle sisters to the correct height of the current battle sister models. In fact, in that video, I show you how. 
Uh, John, if you could find that video really quickly and post it, that yep. would be terrific. But yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's scoot through here because I am supposed to be painting these things. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and just get that little tab. It's the 32 mil base video. All right, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I've only ever seen one Celestine model IRL and as a Marine player, but God is it glorious model. She is, she's a really cool model. I mean, he is shown to be, uh, he's a cartoon villain, uh, probably. I might have to buy some third party penitent engines since GW ones look like crap. Agreed. Fell but on the harmless, except he's won literally everything. Um, his model is awesome. Yo, Abaddon's model is amazing. Okay, I'm here, what did I miss? Hey, Rockstar. And when you take that into context, it's taken thousands of years to anywhere where Horus got it all the way to Terra pretty quickly, all things considered. Um, so Horus versus Abaddon, Horus actually beat Abaddon in one-on-one -on -one combat. Um, no, Abaddon beat Horus in one-on-one -on -one combat. Um, Horus tried to immediately just dethrone his father, which Abaddon could do. He's just choosing not to. Instead, his play is the long war. He wants to disrupt all that is, uh, all that is the Imperium. He doesn't just want to overthrow the Emperor of Mankind. He wants to undo everything that is the Imperium. So, yeah. Um, ironically, my Celsi model didn't break from the base and her wings broke off and said, Oh, I'm so sorry. If you could a uh, new kit unit for the Sisters Codex, what would, it, what would you add? Bikes. Uh, everybody would have the option to be on bike. Is it a good unit choice? No. Is it cool looking? God, yes. Bikes are awesome. I love bikes. Uh, let's see. Ooh, when are they making a Kion miniature? Yo, when are they making a Kion miniature? That's a good question. Kion is amazing. Like, I love that dude. Like, I wish that they would make the personal bodyguards of Abaddon, like his little retinue. I really, really, really wish they would. They are just the coolest models. They are just the coolest characters ever. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bikes. Games Workshop did not like this. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> they They pretty much pulled bikes away from everybody at this point. Um, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Soror uh, Sororitas Biker Gangs, yes. Uh, I think the thing people forget is Chaos is just has the war to win attrition. Also, people forget that um, in the warp, time is completely different. So what might be a day to Abaddon might actually be like a year or 10 or 20 or 10, um, 10,000. And since he kind of resides there, it's really, really, time is so skewed in the warp that it's, yeah. Oop. What if the Emperor of Mankind had a wife? What would she say to her sons and daughters? And what would she do for the Imperium? I don't know. He had Malkador. That was essentially a wife. Yeah. Malkador is definitely like a power bottom. That was just said on this I stream. Know. I don't think we need to go into detail about hey. that. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> Primaris jet bikes went. Yo, that. Primaris jet bikes need to be a thing. Uh, need uh, Ephriel yeah. Stern, Vect, and many more. Yes, we do. Um, let's see. When did they make a new Demon Prince kit? They made it back in like 2013, 2015 era. What if the Emperor of Mankind had a wife? Um, okay, we just read that one. I think Eben Chalice, Sister Army. I'll take a Celestians as my only named character. Um, 
Um, so Celestians don't actually body block for um, the Triumph of St. Catherine. The Triumph of St. Catherine doesn't actually have an order keyword, and thus they can't make use of their bodyguard abilities. Have fun with that one. Which anime girl was the Emperor's waifu? Ah, uh, let's see, it would have to be somebody like insanely smart and devious. Lucy, uh, Lucy from uh, Elfin Lead. Uh, no, that's too cutesy for him. Like, the Emperor, the Emperor probably is, like, one of those people who insult, like, constantly insult anime fans, and then loves anime on the side. I could see him being one of them. Like, he yells at them for being nerds and being weebs and everything, and, like, you go to his house and he has all of that stuff, and he's just watching Dragon Ball when you come over. Um... I kind of hope they expand on the Alpha Legion lore. Yeah, because right now they're just the generic bad guys. Primaris Marines need models that just run um, run around dual-wielding chainsaws. I'd be okay with that. How do you feel about Dark Angels? I love them. Um, Ms. Gork Morg. I feel like it would be the be be that anime girl that... Blah. Can't remember her name. Oh, you deleted... Uh, you deleted the comment, John? Uh, no, I, I let it pass. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. My idea for a chapter overlap with Cardons, their bases is... Oh, that could be cool. Yeah, no, the Cardons don't have the Polynesian thing going on. They're just... They have like a similar name structure, but they don't actually... But they don't do like Hakas or anything like that. It's literally just... They have similar names and... They have face tattoos, that's it. So yeah, if you actually pushed for the culture of it, it would be really that could uh, be power cool. hooks. Oh, what is it? What's that? Uh, a chain, like a chain sword, uh, chainsaw shark tooth club. Oh, yo, that would be tight. What is that thing called? Oh, uh, hold on. Let me look it up. I can never remember. All right, let's see what other comments we got. Now, TTS revealed his ideal waifu in the last short. TTS sucks. Like, I remember when that used to be good. And now it's just, like... Uh, it's so bad. It's called a koa. Oh, neat. Yeah, chain koa. It was like, I remember when thing. TTS was actually good, where the little, um... The custodian was just talking to the emperor about the state of the say to the Imperium, and that was really good. And now it's like this jumbled mess of like, I have no idea what's happening anymore, nor do I care because their their headcanon is really bad. Um, yeah, I, I can't get into it anymore. It's just, it's just bad. Let's see. In short, the Emperor is just a jerk. Yes, he is. Uh, for the greater good, I agree. I wonder if Chaos Primaris will ever be a thing. Nah, they probably won't make Chaos Primaris for quite some time. I'm like leaning over this model right now. It's really weird. All right, I'm just trying to get the mistress's cape done or tabard done. I keep wanting to call it a cape, but it's a tabard. That is what the damn thing is, right, John? Uh, Which thing? Uh, the groin cape is a tabard, yeah, right? Tabard. Yeah, it is a tabard. Okay. Groin cape. Got it. Hello. Yes. Hey, Vic. Hey, Vic. Welcome to the live stream. All right. Let's Here. see. Whoa. My, my whole thing just kind of freaked out for a second. Space Marines with Hakas would be terrifying. Yes, they would. The Kagardons also have bone tooth charms. And, okay. That's kind of cool. The Vulcan stuff was funny, at least. Eh, it was all right. Gotta hate painting eyes. Oh my god, me too. Emperor's waifu is S. Death. I have no idea who that is. Uh, if you've controlled the Tyranids, what would you do? If I controlled the Tyranids, what would I do? Probably throw them all into the warp to devour demons for all eternity. And just make it so that... 
Like, I would use the Tyranids as just a biological weapon. I would just sick them on pretty much everything in the galaxy. Like, I'd be like, oh, you guys are causing problems? Tyranids. Politicians in the office too long? Tyranids. Got a back itch that you just can't reach? Tyranids. Jeez. Uh, Tabard equals cloak slash cape slash crotch dangle. (laughs) Crotch dangler. (laughs) I love it. All right, let's see. Eat Necron Honestly, ships. The ones, uh, getting... the ones I see getting Primaris uh, would be the Alpha Legion, since they're all over the place. Nah, they're too generically bad guys at this point to, to even consider getting them. Um, the ones that I actually see getting them would be, like, Death Guard through the plagues that they inflict. Like, they would just rise up as more Death Guard. Um, or maybe, like... I know Fabius Bile doesn't actually like them. And what he's working on and what he's cooking up is probably far scarier. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really, maybe the Black Legion would get some. But I, I don't really see too many Imperial agencies getting them. Like, as weird as that is, I just, I don't, like, at all. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, the warp would be an endless buffet to the Tyranids. Well, there's a lot of actual creatures in the warp that people forget about, like void whales. Void whales. Um. So yeah. Hitchy scratchy massive scything talents. Uh, can they digest ge- demons? Jeez. Well, the Doom of Malentine can absorb souls, and if demons are made out of soul juice, then yes, technically. Um. Question, do you think with all of the points drops, armies uh, become slowly swarm armies? Uh, yeah, I did I did actually see that a lot of armies dropped in points, and I do think it's going to add like an extra 100 to 200 points to everybody's list. Um, this is a good tactic for like GW because they want to sell minis. But yeah. Uh, let's see, Black Legion. I can see Abaddon wanting... Uh, a piece of the action. Yeah, he might want them just... He might actually capture a whole bunch of them just to practice fighting against them. Uh, yeah. The Alpha Legion looks cool doing the horse heresy like their older armor colors would look amazing. Yo, that would be cool. That's a minor. A Berserker Plague Marine with an active... <laughs> Holy crap. An active Belisarian in uh, Belisari Furnace... Would be horrifying. Yes, it would. World Eaters Primaris. When? I could see it. I could see a bunch of dark, uh, Blood Angels actually falling to corn. I mean, a, a bunch have already. Okay. Just to be careful with this. Boop. Uh, let's see. Just go around the other side. By the way, this entire uh, time, I've only managed to get, like, one paint color on one thing that's it that's it also if you guys want to use the super chat feature that'd be super awesome you can get questions right away or you could just help support the channel it's really 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 helpful to me um yeah so if you want to do it go right ahead i'm not going to stop you let's see here's a question if i may ask what do you think of the rather surprising number of people wanting to do space wolf themed sisters as shield maiden well, it makes a lot of sense. Um, I do like the idea. I actually fully support the idea. I think it's amazing. And I really think GW needs to hop on that bandwagon and actually make a sororitas order. Like, okay, here's how they can do it. So there was this crusade that went to that actually went to Fenrir to try to, you know, stomp them out and tell them that their their belief system was wrong. Okay? Now, that's all fine and dandy. But what should have happened, if you put me in charge of it would be that an order of sisters got captured by the Space Wolves, and the Space Wolves were all like, you know, we we don't really want to kill you. Like, we, we don't... F- you're an Imperial... F- you're an Imperial warrior. You came here misguided. Let me tell you about the Allfather. And they brought out Bjorn the Fellhanded, and Bjorn is all like, I'm Bjorn, and I'm somehow seduced an Inquisitor in my Dreadnought armor. That's actually canon. And... um. He actually, he, along with a couple of the other big characters like Orc the Slayer 
and a few others actually talk to the sisters and convince them that the Allfather, the Emperor, is actually on board with everything that they follow and is the same belief system that they have, just told a little bit differently, but is an accepted uh, way of worshiping the Emperor. Um, I can see a bunch of the, those sisters just going, we need to found an order here and we need to protect these gray knight. Uh, we need to protect these, um, gray knights, these space wolves because they're kind of amazing, blah, 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 blah. And they start adopting more of the Fenrisian, uh, lifestyle and become the, uh, sororities, um, Valkyria or something like that. And that would be really cool where you could actually have Seraphim with this angel wings around them. You can have um, shield and sword sisters. Uh, you can run them as like, I've run my shield and sword as a uh, Seraphim right now because that's how I intend to run my Seraphim. Even though they can't take a, so a shield, whatever, I don't care. It's it's a shield, deal with it. Um, yeah. But I can, I can actually see the sisters building up an order right there. Yeah, they call them the Sororitas Fenrica. No, not Fenrica. Yeah. They have to call them like the Valkyria. Ah, that's fair. Yeah. Give them those uh, wooden shields that the Space Wolves don't use anymore for some reason. No, those the Space Wolves, they actually still have those. Oh, yeah. Pass them around. Like, as silly as it is, Space Wolves do use wooden shields that grow out of, uh, what what is it? Fenrican iron bark. And it's it's the toughest slowest growing metal on fen uh slowest glowing wood on fenrir because it's tougher than like it's tougher than ceramite and it's amazing i'm not kidding that's the actual lore of that all because some artist accidentally drew a wooden shield i mean uh uh bjorn and an inquisitor I, it might have been an Inquisitor. I know it's an actual canon story, though. I'd have to find the source for that. That's insane. Yeah, Bjorn the Fellhanded, as a dreadnought, played with an Inquisitor's hair. Or an Inquisitorial representative. Something like that. That's hilarious. Yeah, Bjorn has moves, even as a dreadnought. <laughs> even in death, I still swag. Even in death, I still have the swag. Uh, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with the Space Wolves going forward since they're going to be taking on the Orcs in uh, Psychic Awakening. Uh, and all the Space Wolves died. The end. They really should just kill off their Legion. And actually, you know, replace yeah. them with Primaris and go right back to their 30k lore. Just keep some of the cool units like the, the giant Thunderwolves. All right, so what oh, do we got? yeah. Whoa, we yes. have a lot of comments oh, yeah, coming Alexis, in. Uh, Yo, thank you. Um, who is Abaddon's waifu and why is it Sigma? <laughs> I could see it. I could see it. Oh, jeez. Alpha Legion versus Imperial Fist. Imperial Fist won. They literally killed off Arius. Like, Dorn killed off Arius, and it is confirmed that he is dead. Um, nice digital background, by the way. Yeah. I'm super fancy. Can't you tell? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. The new character unit releases for each faction getting lately. Uh, with the overwhelming positive market interest, what unit do you think GW will make for the Sororitas next? I'm hoping uh, a different angel. I'm actually hoping St. Sabbath gets a model. Like, for the Sabbath World Crusades. Like, it's a dead model, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Or they just bring her right back. And they're just like, hey, look who's back. From out of space. Um, finally finished up the last of my Death Company Marines. I'll put it in Discord in a bit. I will check it out in a little while. Uh, Thousand Suns probably doing uh, shady things with the Fallen. I could see it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, I'm just going to skip right back to the Bjorn beginning. Keep Bjorn and Thunderwolves. Delete the rest. Wait, say what? Uh, keep Bjorn and Thunderwolves. Delete the rest. I agree. It's actually a shame that the Space Wolves are treated as such a, like... They're handled with such, like, poor care. And I, I really think that they could be a really cool Legion. Well, first they gotta get people, like... 
they gotta get people to stop like memeing on the damn space wolves and folks. Yeah, that's true. That's true enough. Uh, the space roof, the space wolf chapter itself is a meme, though. Like, yeah. it's terribly written, and it in forty k they're terribly written. They're literally a joke on themselves, and it just it's not really fair to them. Because it's like, they could be really cool. But instead they choose to keep them as the drunken space marines. And name everything wolf this, wolf that, go wolf yourself. Oh, uh, let's kind of not thing. even, let's not even get into that. Because the blood angels do that more. Yeah. Like, the sanguinary priest, okay? The blood priest. The wings of blood. The blood angels. Like, they, they do it a lot more than people tend to think. Because Sanguine and all of the other things are just blood-related puns that they just incorporate into their names. Yeah. Boop. There we go. That is a lot of red on her. She's looking good. There we go. Let's see, does does the Blood Angels, Dark Angels, and the Black Templars, are, Black Templars represent the night? Um, yeah, I can see it. So you got the, you got the, 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 the dark angels as the more Christianic knights, um, the actual crusaders or the Gaelic knights. You got the black Templar, which ironically are the crusaders. Um, but they also represent like older French style knights. And then you have, what was the third They're one? They're a little more Teutonic. Uh, Blood Angels, Dark Angels, and Black Templars. Well, Blood Angels aren't really knights. They're just vampires. Yeah, they're just vampires. They're also Roman gladiators. So vampire gladiators. Yeah. Actually, that is a pretty cool concept. I also wish they would uh, bring in more to do with the Dark Angels being more um, Native American. Because the wings were the whole Native American tribe thing. And originally, like, some of their older concepts actually made the each company based around a totem pole, which I really liked. And they kind of got rid of that. Yeah, they did. They still have the uh, feathers on a lot of the models, but they don't mention why the feathers are there anymore. Yeah. I. But it was such a cool concept that they could have had. Something that I really like is um, the Rainbow Warriors. So they're actually based on um, the tribes, the native tribes that live around the um, the Grand Canyon. Yep. And they're very Native American themed. The problem is they kind of end up being the Rainbow Warriors. But like I think that a properly done version of them where they're very like Sky Warriors, right? Like they do a lot of like... Uh, they they play with like the colors around that and have like blue blue and purple like characters that are like defensive or like devastators and then like you have like the uh, the yellows being more of the um, like the tactical areas and then like all of the assault guys being like in the reds and oranges and mm -hmm. then like the that area I think that has a lot of play around and then you probably use dark angels models because there's so many feathers around them. Yeah, without a doubt. With your life, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would really love to paint that army up. That would be actually really, really, really cool. Uh, but you'll get a lot of the memes that are like, they're the gay marines, and it's like, no, stop yeah, it. They're... Marines are all pretty much asexual. They're angels. Well, no. Right. So They're like Christianic old school angels where they're just kind of neutered. Well, the fallen angels could actually breed with humans. So I wouldn't even consider them angels. They're more like cherubim. Yeah. Like, they are the warrior class. I get it. They're, they're in the same... They're like archangels, I guess. Yeah. Although, then again, Lucifer had a kid. Y yes. But he depending on like the source material it's like uh in the same way that like 
um, God made man from clay and then made, you know, he made Adam from clay, ripped out one of Adam's ribs to make Eve. Mm -hmm. Um, Like, depending on where you grab it from, he basically made, I think it's mammon, right? Is that the, whatever, Uh, the the, the Antichrist-like character is supposed to be like a metaphysical son of his. It's not like he copulated to create him. Huh, that sounds more like the Emperor. Yeah. There you go, people. There's your little bit of religion without actually getting into a hard debate. <laughs> well, I actually... Um, well, my opinion on that is... Dot, dot, dot. Take a moment uh, to think about it. Blades, if I was insane, I'd paint up some Chad Marines with, as some type of doll. I, I don't know. That's the Emperor's children. The Emperor's children aren't gay. They're just sadistic psychopaths who are also the best tacticians in the entirety of chaos. Unless they're the bad guys. Yeah, unless they're the bad guys. In which case, GW tends to forget that they're supposed to be, like, the best tacticians out of all of chaos. In fact, Fulgrim himself accidentally beat Horus. uh, Not accidentally. No, he popped into he popped into reality right next to him. All of um, all of his ships were just sitting there, and Fulgrim's like, "I could annihilate my brother right now. I can literally kill everything he has and end his existence, and he would be none the wiser. He would be dead in less than five seconds." And then he chooses not to, even though the Lair Blade is like, "Don't do it. Don't do it." Oh my god, actually do it. <laughs> yeah. I need to go back and read a lot of that stuff. Yeah. I kind of want to read the entire Horus Heresy. To paint. I have, um, if you want to come over, I could just lend you all of the audiobooks I have for him. That is fair. Since you drive Although a I lot. read faster than audiobooks go. Yeah, but you drive a lot and you're lazy. That is fair. <laughs> I do drive like 20 hours a week. I like how you don't disagree with being lazy either. Yeah, laziness due to, like, lack of time and attention span, right? Well, it's like... Yeah, drink. Anyway. <laughs> it's like me. I'm, um, I'm actively lazy. I will do the mm-hmm. most active thing so that I don't have to do things later on. Yep. I'll work all day to make sure nothing gets done. <laughs> work all day to make sure nothing gets done. <clears throat> Feels right. Okay, so let's see. Have you noticed that while Blood Angels and Space Wolves have the name convention issue, the Blood Angels are taken more seriously than wolves? It's because wolves just look really silly, and it's also because of the furry undertone that they do have, and they really need to get rid of. But yeah. Um, let's see. There's a rumor that some of the Thousand Sun Legions are the Grey Knights. What do you think? So that is an old book that references that, but essentially it's all but confirmed that the Knights Errant become the Grey Knights. And then they start adopting it as being all psychers. So yeah. Um, well, Dante and Gabriel Seth are pretty awesome characters. They are, and they're both named after fallen angels. No, they're both named after demons. Well, Dante was a writer. Well, depending on, yeah, because he was the writer and also the character in Dante's Inferno. Because yep. that was a self-inserted D&D adventure. Yes. That he was very much just a metaphor for all of mankind. Yeah. Apparently we're all old Italian men. Uh, At one point, we all become one. At one point, we all become... (laughs) Yeah, many lives down the line. Let's see. Hello, I am painting Space Wolves as we speak. Nice. For the Allfather. For the Fenrika. Um, Let's see. Grey Knights, that's how you were... That's how... That's not how you spell Blood Ravens. So, Blood Ravens, ironically, the author who made the Blood Ravens 
never intended them to be canon in any way, shape, or form, and originally they were never considered canon. And the whole idea of them not knowing their gene sire was just a way of avoiding copyright issues. So now that they are canon, we have lore that says space marines don't check blood for records. Here's this random gene seed. <laughs> so dumb. Well, it's that they're supposed to be like a, a third founding and that they were they were founded during a time when like all the records got destroyed. Yeah, but but here's the problem with that. In newer books, newer continuity, newer lore, they have stated that every Space Marine chapter has to pay a tide to uh, they have to pay a tide to Mars. They send their gene seed to Mars to get tested and sent back. Which means they know who the gene sire is. They're just really stupid. But Mars probably doesn't tell them who it is, nor do they probably check. Ah, how do they know they which one to send Because them? in the old fluff, they're just checking to see how chaos it is uh. and how flawed it is. And they're not checking for anything else. But it's it's just it's one of those things I, I honestly hate about the lore because it's like, dude, just, just check your blood type. No. <laughs> right? Other than again, the uh, what is it? Most chapters don't even test if their damn gene seed is compatible with the humans that they shove it into. They just have a game and then go, OK, let's hope you live. <laughs> uh, I think the Blood Ravens are cool. They're, they're a chapter I appreciate because it's like they they have their quest for knowledge and, you know they have they're not renegade like they haven't broken enough rules to be considered renegades but they kind of work on the fringes of it yeah it kinda... yeah they're definitely very close to being renegade without being renegade well it's... they got primaris drop so they're not too renegade yeah they definitely got primaris so they're not renegades but i mean after I don't know, like, their story is so weird because there's just a Chaos Space Marine chapter that's just stuck being loyal. Also, their head librarian felt a corn. Yep. Yeah. That makes yeah. no sense. Yeah, but Gabriel Angelos is cool. I, I Oh, Gabriel Angelos, have you seen his, uh, his rules? He's I've actually his pretty decent. He's a little overcosted. He's like 185. But he's so cool. Yeah. All right, I'm going to paint eyes. This is dangerous. I just ink him, man. I mean, still, best thing, best thing to come out of Dawn of War was uh, Blood Flag and Androstia's like, interactions about the About the what? Oh, Yo, uh, I don't think Androstia gets enough attention. She is amazing. I like her hat. I do like Andrastia her hat. Androstia is the Inquisitor from 2, right? Correct. Okay. And in the orc ending, uh, blood flag, massive man, blood flag, sneaks up behind her, picks her up, takes her hat, and just kind of tosses her like a tissue. Like, I got my <laughs> hat. Doesn't even kill her. Just no kind of knocks her out. Nice. And then just it's, leaves. I think canonically, she actually does live. And yeah, no, the orc ending is not canon, although it's canon in, in my heart. <laughs> uh, what is the canon ending to Dawn of War 2? Uh, blood Angels. Oh, okay. Is it? I thought the Blood Angels canonically lost. In no, that. I know they lose no. the first one. The Orcs win the first game. Um, uh, Gorgon's yeah. one sold. No, thank Oh, no, wait. Gorgon's we have a we have a question. Um, forgive me for forgetting, but do you uh, have Sisters of Battle Chaos Field? Chaosified? No, I don't. Eyes, good luck with that. Painting eyes is dangerous. I could send you a series of pics on how to do eyes for minis. It it won't help me. Like it just it just won't. I just I just do the darkest dungeon thing where I just kinda of black out their eyes. Darkest dungeon is such a good game. Damn it. I should get that game. Tell yes. fun. But I just got Overwatch, and I've been playing that too much, so. Good man. Yeah, we just do need now. to play some more Overwatch. And some more Raft. Alright, let's go ahead. 
A question: Does Alpha Legion still has have a, have agents in high positions, such as officers, like they did in Horus Heresy, or just Lane Cold? Oh, they definitely do. In fact, the one of the best um, one of the best ways to start a Dark Heresy campaign is by trying to find them. That is fair. And then, like, they they evade you and then get you uh, declared uh, Tratoris or something in your whole... Excommunicatus Tratoris. Yeah, that one. And then you just have to spend your entire campaign proving that the person's crazy or, yeah. you know, an Alpha Legion or whatever. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What do you think about Magnus the Red? Uh, would he, he did get redeemed? Wrong. No. God, no. He did nothing wrong. Yes, he did. He destroyed mankind's he enti entire future. Exactly. He did nothing wrong. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> I mean I mean and even if, and as for being redeemed now, he did kind of burn Fenris. Yeah. He doesn't no. want redemption at this point. Well, I mean he's Absolutely. not even Magnus anymore. He's a demon with the memories of being Magnus. Um, I thought that was Fulgrim, where like he was like possessed and taken over and the demon is nope. actually not him. Fulgrim bested his demon. Ah. Uh. Yeah, Fulgrim's a boss. I love Fulgrim. All right. Um, if 40K movie had a squad of sororitas characters, would you want to play one of them? Yes. I based my first cosplay on a steampunk Androstia. Yo, nice. I love it. Awful, Big Vic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. If I field an army of Astromilitarm, can I have an army of Space Marines in the same game? In two different detachments? Yes, you can. Yep. Uh, Magnus, as he was, did everything wrong. Yeah, you are correct. I still don't think he did anything wrong. Yes, I think, you know, he was just trying to do the best thing he could in the situation. Just, uh, you know, Look, made some mistakes, you know. That you doesn't know? mean that you're acquitted of doing those bad things. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well. I didn't no going back to, now. I didn't mean to cat, to bounce that check, but I did anyway, so I guess what? I'm going to jail. Yeah. See? He did nothing wrong. Yes, he did. Nope. Yes. Okay. Yes, he did. Nope. I mean, he was at, he was with Sigmar when Kitty burned. <laughs> Where's the picture of that? Oh. <laughs> I love oh, that yeah. you actually have a picture of that. Um, I would love Alexis to play as an Inquisitor. Yo, I would. I would. Not gonna lie, I definitely would. Logard did nothing wrong. Yes, he did. <laughs> I mean, what I, okay. actor would you want to play the squad? Uh, I don't know actors by name too well. All I know is I would want Will Smith to stay far away from it. <laughs> but Jason Statham should definitely play an Arbite. I don't know. Jason Statham, I feel like, would be like the sergeant of the Space Marines, and you just make him out to be a complete tool. No, we need Samuel L. Jackson as like an Arbite. <laughs> oh, God. Or Samuel L. Jackson as an Inquisitor? Say heresy one more time. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, we need to get him and the guy who plays uh, Ed Wensley the Third as Inquisitors. Yes. <laughs> From Boondocks? Oh, my God. Yeah. The oh, God. The Vin Diesel is oh, that was Charlie. Uh, that was um, Eddie Murphy's big brother, and he's dead. Oh. Yeah, it's sad. Uh, do you play kill, kill team? Will you try a Sororitas kill team squad? Yes, I will try uh, Sororitas and kill team. I haven't looked at the rules. I can't imagine they're very bad. No, they're uh, probably I... pretty decent. Because the Space Marines are actually pretty good. You're pretty good. Hmm. I'm amazing. I'm not just pretty good. Well then. Love All right. Confidence. We do have to do this giveaway soon. Oh, what's the giveaway? I'm giving away the Sororitas Codex. Oh, cool. Yeah. And the data cards. And the... um. And the, the Miracle Dice. All right. So I want to finish off. Heavily branded, very unique white dice. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly getting rid of those white dice because I don't want to add them to my pile of dice. 
All right. So what do we do for a giveaway? Well, this is a, you know what? I want somebody to guess. And if they get this right, they have, they win the codex. They win everything. They win all of this. Okay. Ta-da, which is, my green screen is messing with it, but it, it is actually there. Okay. You win all of that. If, that was just impressive. My paintbrush just flew across the room. If, oh, okay, okay, okay. Name my second army that I've ever collected. You have to know me to know this. Oof. My second army, not my first, my second. <laughs> All right, so you only get one guess, though. One guess per person. 22 factions, good luck. That's including, like, the eight major space marines. All right, I'm going to wait until I, I see a winner. Do also, by the way, do don't do. just look above because I'm actually going to wait until a bunch of people answer this before I tell you who the first one was to pick the winner. Okay, so let's do this. Let's see who picks the winner. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you guys two minutes of guessing. You can only guess once and I want to see... Who gets it? So how do you know people have guessed multiple times, by the way? Oh, I can I'm just see their you. names and we're just going to take note on it. And that is the last of my printing for my PhD oral exam tomorrow morning. And by the way, uh, <sighs> if y'all, this was actually brought up in one of the uh, start collecting uh, videos. Okay. All right, so we just have one more minute of guessing for everybody who wants to try to win this codex. Uh, the way to claim the codex is I need you to contact me via Discord, okay? Or by Facebook or by Twitter. You need to contact me as soon as this live stream ends or during the live stream so that I can get that message immediately. And yeah. So, just another 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So John, would you like to announce the winner? Indeed, the winner of the Sister of Battle Codex, along with all the extra gubbins, is uh, Retrospectus. 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 You actually guessed it correctly. My second army that I've ever collected in Warhammer 40k was Chaos Space Marines. I did you not know that. Nobody does. My first army, actually, my Primaris Marines are a um, are a throwback to my original army. So, Retrospectus, you won. So, if you have me on Discord, please, if you're in my Discord, please message me. If you are on any of my social medias, please message me right now to claim your prize. Completely random cats. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. All right. I'm going to be checking my social media really quickly to see if you are going to message me. All right. So we're waiting on you. If you don't want to actually win this prize, just tell me. You can either write it here on uh, YouTube. Just say like, 
Um, I don't want to win it or give it to somebody else. Or you can contact me immediately. So please do so. Yeah, you won stuff. Good job. Somehow I wasn't expecting chaos. Yeah. So funny thing about this. Funny thing about this. My first army was Space Marines. I got it in a store in London. Me and my friend Keith, we split um, we split a box set called the Battle for McCrag. I actually have the Battle for McCrag again. I got it through a trade-in randomly. Um, but he decided to go Tyranids. Even though I really like the Tyranids, he decided to go Tyranids. And I was like, cool, I get to fight the super alien space bugs with space marines who are the most badass things in the galaxy. I was very young at the time. And they're painted horribly. Like, really, really, really bad. But I love them. And my second ever purchase was a Land Raider. <laughs> like, I went straight to the Land Raider. I thought it was the coolest tank ever. Then I got the... Assault on Blackreach, and I got a few other things, and I was super happy about it. Also, hey, Ashlyn. Um, uh. But I got a I got a whole bunch of other stuff. And then my buddy was like, I'm switching armies, so you should too. So we have multiple armies to play. And I was like, you know what? That is a great idea. I want to play the evil guys. <laughs> so I chose Chaos Space Marines. Uh, there is a picture way, 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 way lost to the ether at this point of a four-armed demon prince that I made that I thought was the coolest thing in the world. And I have traded off that army to get a Tau army. Then I, but at the same time I was collecting orcs. Oh, he said he didn't want it. Oh my God. So you guys still have a chance of winning the Sister Battle Codex. Yo, now I need to come up with something else, and I have no idea what to, what to... Mmm. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. I, I have... Okay. Round two. Okay, so... So Retrospectus, I want to thank you for actually giving it to somebody else. You are awesome and a great member of this community. You are the shining beacon of what people in this community should be, stating that you'd rather it go to somebody else. That is amazing. Thank you so much. So now we need to come up with a second question. Okay. Okay. I got to pick something obscure from the... Actually, you know what? I will pick something from... <laughs> In the series, Queen's Court, right here on the channel. What was Rosalina's skill? What was her, her employment prior to being an acolyte, then eventually an inquisitor? There is your question. <laughs> Let's see who actually watches Queen's Court. And again, I'm going to give this two and a half minutes. My mods cannot win this. Um, one guess. But... Now, everybody who's saying she was a noble, we're not looking for her being a noble. A noble isn't a job, it, it, though technically it is. We're looking for what her occupation was. So, what was she? And again, we're going to give two minutes from right now. Okay, two minutes. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. <sighs> inquisitorial acolyte. Yeah, she was an inquisitorial acolyte before she was an inquisitorial acolyte. Uh, <laughs> damn it, rock star. Yo, bro, I, I know you like uh, inquisitorial acolytes, so I made sure you got some inquisitorial acolyte inside your inquisitorial acolyte. Yeah, right? 
I love it. I love it. <laughs> she was terrifying. <laughs> All right. Y'all need, need to watch more King, Queen's Court. You guys need to. Yeah, you guys need to watch Queen's Court. It's a very, very good series. Soon it will actually be a real series that is like more of an animated uh, animated comic in the future. I'm really, really, really working on this. So, yeah. All right. So, we have a winner. John? And the winner of this one is Roth Fairmoon. Or Rothian Fairmoon. Which I think is just Roth. It's just Roth. So Roth, you actually watched Queen's Court. Or at least paid attention enough to know that she was a scholar progenium teacher. So oh, congratulations, yeah. you actually won. So if you are still there, make sure you contact me immediately or you uh, message John or reached me on other social media. Ooh. It's been years since I watched the first episode of Queen's Court. Yeah, it's been going on for three years. But yeah, prior to Rosalina becoming a, uh, an Inquisitor, she was an acolyte to an Inquisitor by the name of Hunt. But prior to that, Hunt was doing an investigation on the planet of Provoska. On the planet of Provoska, uh, a teacher barged into his office demanding to be a part of his retinue. This actually impressed Hunt to the point where he actually took her in. She was a former um, Scholar Progenium teacher. She taught the Commissariat as well as the Sororitas. So there you go. A little bit of a backstory to Rosalina, who you guys see in battle reports all the time. Okay, so Roth is claiming the prize, which is awesome. <sighs> I'm going to probably end this stream in a little bit. Uh, not right away. I still have a lot to do. I just got the orange done on these girls. I still need to do all the grays and everything and about five coats of red to get their legs, to get their cloth looking the way I want. I have all the leather work on them as well as the grenades. We're gonna do two different color grenades. We have the gold, we have the silver, we have the bronze that are going into these. So this is about to take a lot of paint. By the way, this was supposed to be a painting video and I'm sitting here just BSing about random stuff. At this point, I am too used to hearing about Rosalina as an inquisitor rather than when she was bo what she was before. Makes sense, that makes sense. Uh, anyone here read the plot summary of the first wall? I have not. I only remember that her cherub was once her kid. Yep. Her cherubim is her child. Uh, what a roller coaster. <laughs> five coats of red five goes five times faster. <laughs> Truth. I'm surprised I got it right. Well, good job, Roth. Oh, oh my. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's, um, what color do I want to do next? I actually need bolt gun metal. I need a lot of bolt gun metal, but I think I'm going to do the gray next. So I'm going to do Uthern gray for the base coat of their hair and go from there. Is my Uthern gray actually still good? Oh, uh, no, it's not. We are going to switch away from Uthern gray and go with Pallid Witch Flush. Wow, why are GW whites terrible? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to shake the hell out of this now. Don't know if you were asked this, but uh, were you re relieved that the Repressor didn't get Legend? Yes, I was, but at the same time, it, it got nerfed into the ground because the unit that uh, took full advantage of it got nerfed. So, yeah. Is what it is. Is what it is. I'm not too upset. Um, bye, Alexis. I gotta go. May the Emperor protect you and your husband. Bye. <laughs> All right. Take care. Um been more uncomfortable is that he knew that uh let's see this gw paint thinner is just yo paint thinner actually comes in handy quite a bit i just usually shake the hell out of things 
until they start working. That also works for Victor. Shake the hell out of him until he starts working. Okay. Go ahead, go on up. I am trying to be as precise as possible painting these helmets because I really, really, really don't want to mess up these helmets. I know I'm going to mess them up and I'm so worried about messing them up. <laughs> ah. Okay, I got this, I got this. The Emperor protects, the Emperor provides, and the Emperor guides. There we go. There we go. Oh my God, this is like, this is so tense for me right now. How do people just do this every single day? Imagine Vic's getting a giggle out of this. It's a little fun. Uh. Don't worry, you haven't hit the 40 hours of painting point yet. I know, right? Understand the feeling of arthritis in the hands. God, I used to work like... like I was doing so well, and then I, I messed up. The day six hours. But, Between but, my cat yeah. and my girlfriend, they literally just sit there being like, what are you doing? Painting. <laughs> All right, so that's one helmet down, and I also want to hit their purity seals, if she has any. And her white for her... Get her shoulder thing, her shoulder insignia. There we go. Okay. Uh, John, can you keep reading comments as they go? I sure can. Uh, let's see. Do you think they will ever make a model for Canonist Errant Sethino? I really hope so. Uh, if I recall that correctly, that's Hammer and Anvil. No, 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 no. That's, um, oh my God. That's, uh, that's, uh, Vigilus, I think. Right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Omega says they just started watching Queen's Court the other day. Nice. Queen's Court is a lot of fun. It's my favorite thing that I put up on the channel. I agree. Let's see. I have to go to work at 7 a.m. Should I sleep or keep listening to the stream? Uh, why don't you just fall asleep to the sound of my soothing, terrible voice? Oh. Seems like a bad idea. Painters don't need shake weights. <laughs> Very true. Okay. Let's see. My brush is, like, messed up. Alrighty. Let's see. Do, have you heard anything about the Sororitas new fortification, the Battle Sanctum, release date, appearance, etc.? I have not, but I can't wait to get my hands on one. I do want to try it out. How big it is. Like, the best thing about it is I just want to play it because it looks fun. It does look like it does a lot for a sister army. It just gives them an extra, like, point every turn, but still... True. Do we know how big it's going to be? I'm assuming it's going to be the base size of a Bastion. But no. We... I'm waiting for it. It's 50 points. I'm waiting for it to be a bunker with a big Florida Lee on top of it. More than likely. Like, that's what I kind of see it as. Boop. Okay. What do we got? Do you think... Uh, let's see. Uh, Canada... Purged by the Inquisition. Uh-huh. Poor Chaotic Sisters. They need love, too. Say, 
Just stabbed my hand ripping Cypher's blade off to make it a marine for my chap. Ouch. Look, oh, that's, that's what you get for trying to harm Cypher. Yeah. Uh, fortifications confuse me. For some reason, I don't get how they're deployed. You just put them down when you deploy, like, your army. Actually, it's wait. a drop, isn't it? Is that still a thing? Did they change I that? I think it's still a drop. Yeah. I've never used a fortification, so I can't say much. Yeah, I'm not even sure anymore. I don't think anybody really uses fortifications too much. Not really. They're hard to use in a in a match play game because they're an entire detachment. Although I feel like sisters might end up. Well, yeah, sisters can just throw like fifteen repent uh, retributors uh, up on top of it. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what you're going to say is just a ton of retributors on top of it. And just taking that two up cover with the magifier. And then a dialogus on top of it as well, so they get to reroll it. Which is. That's fair. Kind of insane, by the way. Wait, what do they reroll with the Dialogus again? Dialogus rerolls the Act of Faith die. Uh, it adds or subtracts one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Faith die. Boop. Right? Yeah. Or does it do both? Uh, it adds one or subtracts one. Okay. Yeah, because you're thinking of from the previous code? right yeah i'm mixing up rules yeah that's fine we all do i do that on occasion mostly because i've just played this game for so long that i just forget newer edition rules in lieu of the older ones i feel i'm sure that that's an issue because like say you started playing in like third or fourth edition this game is a completely different game uh -huh. oh yeah it is simple to understand, though. Like, 8th edition, I even I find myself being able to get a good, decent grasp on Yeah, 8th edition is actually pretty easy. Uh, Slanesh Herald, by the way. Oh, I know, I know. But you guys, you guys still have your chariot heralds. Uh, that, that's it. Kind of lost everything else. White saying endless rage. <laughs> It's okay, White. We'll figure something out. Also, the nerf to the Keeper of Secrets. Yeah. What happened to the Keeper of Secrets? Her movement went down to 12. What was it before? 14. Oh. That's a lot. Well, White, if it makes you feel any better... Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Aw, don't giggle at White. Also, Seraphim don't have as many jump packs as I thought they would. Uh, jump packs. Uh, purity seals as I thought they would. Were you expecting at least like a 25% surface area coverage of purity seals? Yes. <laughs> See, you think I'm joking. Mm hmm. I can understand. There we go. Flip her over. Let's get the other side. Purity seals. There we go. Boop. Just trying to make these look good for a camera. White says, John, I'd be mad if I were in your position. I'd do the same. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, what other questions do we have? What other comments do we have? Hey. Enough purity seals to give them a two plus. Yes. All the purity. All the time. Oh, yeah. oh have you thought of doing a sister writing a Tyranid? Oh, my God. I should. Not with these girls, though. I've already converted enough of them. 
Uh, I got a couple holding multi guns. I got a couple holding, um, yeah, I've, I've edited these, I've uh, converted these girls enough. I've got a bunch of magnetization on them to the point where I stopped doing magnetization on them because I only do it on like sister superiors. If I need to do it on like base sisters, I'll just buy enough to have all of them that I need the options for. Oh, whoops. I didn't even do her helmet. Damn it. I am so good at painting armies. Boop. There we go. There we go. All right, let's get that helmet painted. I'm actually kind of happy that I got the lenses painted. That makes me happy. That's just, it's just one of those things. It like pops just a little bit more, you know? Love it. We need an Angron model. We do need an Angron model. I wanted him fighting Gazgul. Personally, I think that would have been a better matchup than the Space Wolves. Well, yeah, because like Gazgul's got to be like, like model wise, that he's gonna be like Gilliman or or like Abaddon size, surely. Yeah, he's definitely gonna be bigger. You know, it's like really it's funny. Look... I remember, I remember a while ago when I was on an episode of uh. Uh, Remlaze's podcast thing. Um, but I was on that. And I remember saying that uh, Gosgol is going to be as big as a Primark. And those two were just like, no. And I was like, yes, he is. And I mean, I'm going to be proven be... correct. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you mean the Primarchs are going to be as big as Gazgul. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> No, like, yeah, like, I want, like, my my dream matchup was Battle for Armageddon. You throw, the guard get their their Armageddon Steel Legion, like, stuff back, like a, like a supplement. And then you throw in, it's Angron, Big Demon Angron versus Gazgul. Maybe a new Snickrot model because he's still on the Armageddon. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. I could definitely but no, see it. But no, we got the wolves. Uh, maybe you'll be neutering the puppers. Yeah. I... No, man, I shouldn't make the joke. I mean, it's kind of like beating a dead horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What other comments do we have? Your boys might not want to fight my boys, but you're stuck with me anyway. I'm guessing that's from Kiba. Yeah, we uh, White says we constantly see war bosses around Dreadnought size, so of course Gazgul will be Primarch size. Yeah, I mean, let's just face it; that's gonna be that's gonna be it. When are you doing Battlefleet Gothic Armada Two gameplay again? Um, so I'm at the point in that game where I've beaten the campaign, and I have a essentially a maxed out fleet that can't lose. And I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that because the game is not balanced. Um, so I, I kind of got bored with it. Um, let's see. Let's see. You misspelled boys you get. Let's see. Ooh. Which wolf character is going to get Primaris first? Probably Ragnar Blackmane or, um, actually, no, it'd be funny if, uh, Loken the Trickster, Loki, Loki, got Primaris first because he literally ran in there before everybody else. Oh, God, like, he'd be a, what is it called, a Reaver? Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. Like, like I said, if, if they're going to bring back any Space Wolf character to fight Gazgul, like a big Gazgul, it's going to be either a new, like, version, like a new... What do you call him? What's the new Dreadnought for Primaris? Well, a Dre Primaris Dreadnought, Bjorn, or uh, Ulrich the Slayer. 
Oh, Redemptor Bjorn. That'd be fun. He's like, like he did. He didn't do it because he was forced to. He did it because the ladies like the new tread. <laughs> ladies love the new chassis. He knows what the ladies like. Ladies like armor plating. Ten inch thick armor plating. <laughs> Son of a butt. I messed up this one. I was doing so well. I got through four of them before I messed up the head. Ugh. Let's see. I gotta say, I'm out of my element with this in this live stream. I'm not familiar with the 40k tabletop. I've watched a lot of lore videos. So yeah. Well, hey, if you want, I mean, take that, that love that you have for the lore and you can put it on a table. It's actually in, uh, amazing. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I do a... You can also just talk about lore. Like, ask a question about lore, and we can have fun with it. I'm gonna have to redo this one's eyes. <sighs> Such a butt. Poor Space Wolves, they just recovered from the... Wrath of Magnus, and now the orcs are knock knocking on the door. Open up the door. It's the non stop pop pop and stainless steel. I don't think I can go any farther in that song. Yeah, I don't need DMX uh, knocking on our door and with, with non stop cease and desist. With that non stop cease and desist, and you know it's real. <laughs> with the non stop lawsuits. With no appeal. Ah. All right, that was pretty good. Go. I think I also forgot to do the shoulder pads. No, I did the shoulder pads on that one. On this one. Yeah, I did. I forgot to do the shoulder pads. Uh, all right. All right. All right. Uh, what's the next uh, tidbit or thing of the lore? Let's see. A question. Let's see. Ulrich would more likely, would be more likely to cross the Rubicon than Bjorn. I wonder if you have to be a Primaris to be in a Redemptor. Or not a Redempt... Is it a Redemptor? Yeah, it's a Redemptor Dreadnought. Okay. I had to think about that for a second. Or if just normal Space Marines can go in them. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Kiba says there's barely enough bits of meat on Bjorn left. And White responds with Kiba always going on about Bjorn's meat. <laughs> That's pretty funny. And Kiba responds with no use. <laughs> but yeah, if y'all want to ask questions, now's the time. We got. Yeah, we're going to be wrapping this up soon, though. Probably real soon, but still. In indeed. There we go. All right, what do we got? Uh, hold on. We need more wolf models so I can add more wolves to my wolves so I can wolf the enemy. Oh, <laughs> with my wolves. That was a legitimate question. Uh, are some I wonder legitimate if... wolves. I wonder if Mad Duck Grotznik gets his claws on a Primaris, what are the odds he could implant the organs into an orc? Oh my god, yes. Oh lord, yes. Oi, I... what's this? A put inside an orc. Hey, that orc is mad. That's uh, pretty cool. Apparently he's also Sylvester Stallone, I don't know why. An orc with a Belisarian furnace, the one that isn't that the one that like heals them and keeps them a lot, like lets them come back from. I think so. 
I don't know. A lot of their stuff is just make believe magic, and it works. Oh God! Psychic awakening. Fabius Bile versus Mad Doc Grotznik. <laughs> Yo, yes. Primaris Tusco would be funny. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna wrap this one up. I want to thank everybody for joining me for this. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, Roth, congratulations once again for winning the Codex. Um, yeah, good job as always. Uh, be sure to check out all the links in the description down below. There you can follow me on all sorts of social media. And yeah, be sure to check out Patreon. Patreon goes a long way to supporting the channel. It really helps me out. It actually bought me the sister kit and it's probably going to send these things out as well. So be sure to check out all of my Patreon stuff uh, if you get a chance. Join my Discord. Discord is awesome. As always, I'm Norn Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye.